bringing you the news and information you need from the people making a difference. This is Comcast Newsmakers. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Barbara Rogers. Today, we're on location at Covenant House, California. It is a program that helps homeless and at-risk youth. Joining me now is Jonathan Kaplan. He is the Director of Sustainable Agricult of the Sustainable Agriculture Project of the National Natural Resources Defense Council. That is right. quite a mouthful. You have a long title. You got it. <laughs> Tell me, what is the Natural, natural Resources Defense sure. Council? Sure. NRDC is a national nonprofit environmental group. We work on a wide array of environmental issues. We have 1.2 million members and online activists. We work on climate change, oceans protection, and sustainable food. And now let's talk about sustainable food. What does that really mean? Well, uh, when we look around the planet, food and agriculture causes the largest, is the largest source of greenhouse gas emissions. Uh, agriculture is the largest user of increasingly scarce freshwater resources. And uh, basically our food system is already causing more pollution and using more natural resources than our planet can bear. But we have to actually increase the amount of food that gets produced to meet demands of a rising global population. So we need a more sustainable food system. We need to produce enough food, but with less dependence on toxic chemicals, fossil fuels, energy, and water. How do we do that? Well, that's a challenge. That's, uh, we have our work cut out for us, and our Growing Green Awards uh, project uh, is an opportunity for us to celebrate leaders who are innovating more sustainable food production practices. So we have a national award. We recognize uh, leaders who are producing delicious food while reducing their environmental impact. How long have these Growing Green Awards been around? We're in our third year. Uh, this year we're announcing four categories, food producer, business leader, knowledge leader, and new this year, our young food leader. And anybody can apply. Uh, you can visit us online at nrdc.org slash growing green. We're offering uh, $15,000 in cash prizes to help these winners uh, implement their businesses. So I can nominate myself or I can nominate someone else? If, if you've got the credentials, you should nominate yourself today. Our deadline is December 10th. Uh, visit us online. The application process is very easy and we are committed to celebrating these food leaders far and wide. We use our, our networks, our connections, our websites, our, our member outreach channels to really promote the, the exciting things that these winners are doing. Let's talk about some of the past winners yeah. so people have an idea of what kinds of things might win. Sure. Um, let's see, a couple of my favorites. Uh, last year, we gave an award to Russ Lester. Russ is an organic walnut grower in Northern California and he has devised a system to convert his walnut shells into electricity. So uh, about one third of Russ's farm is now powered by walnut shells. Very cool. I, uh, want, I want to know how to do that. <laughs> yeah, uh, ask Russ. You can read about him on our website. Uh, another favorite, Will Allen in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, has started an urban farm and he's essentially devised a double farm where he stacks uh, an organic vegetable system on top of a fish farm so that the fish waste uh, provides the nutrients that fertilize the plants and the plants filter the water that can then be pumped back to the fish. It's, a, it's an ingeniously efficient system. Do you see foresee a time when we will be able to, I mean, because the population keeps growing, there are billions of people on the planet, when we will be able to feed them all without harming the environment so much? Well, we definitely have our work cut out for us. You know, I have to say, uh, there's a lot of bad news out there today, but one bright spot has been phenomenal consumer interest in all this. Uh, you know, over the last 10 years, we are seeing more people go to farmer's markets. You know, the number of farmer's markets has doubled in the last decade. Uh, sales of organic food has quadrupled. So there's a lot of energy and excitement about this. Well, thank you for telling us about the Growing Green Awards yeah. and about the NRDC. Thanks for having us. And thank you for joining us for another edition of Comcast Newsmakers. I hope you'll be with us again next time. Bye-bye.